the players who have a lot more experience out here would have a lot more advantage, in my opinion, knowing where to hit it, where not to hit it, you know, which parts of the greens to avoid. Yeah, Sue Ann, they call it the Augusta. Yeah, just a wedge in hand for DJ. We're in a bit more protected part of the golf course in terms of wind. Queensland State Rugby League team. He's a big Brisbane Broncos fan as well, Cam Smith. So he's had a lot of say in the branding of Ripper GC and the naming of the team as well. Oh, what a swing from Dustin Johnson from out of the junk on the left here at, as we watch DJ on the tier four is if you do hit it into the trees, you can't hear it <laughs> because they're cork. Okay. Well, we'll it's out. a muffled He's thud. Thank you, sir. Yep. DJ with his second shot at the fifth. Uh, during a practice round, all the stingers were playing together. Here's Dustin Johnson for a birdie of five. And DJ rolls that one in. Putt for DJ there. This is the kind of course where you're not going to see a ton of three putts. There's some slope, but they're not big enough. No. DJ on the tee at seven. 190 yard par four. And right along the left edge of the fairway. As DJ at nine slips it in the left corner. That's birdie. <laughs> As DJ's on the tee at 10. But I think David made a great point earlier. It's hard to tell if a ball did hit a tree here because the cork trees make yeah, very little sound. Absolutely no sound. This season in the Live Golf League, 47th in distance. And how but about that's okay here. Yes. Right? Yes. Oh, absolutely. It's set, set just over 7,000 yards. R71. Really short by the modern game, but. It... Yeah, I mean, there hasn't been a single negative response from any of the players. Abraham Answer, Jerry, and I were out in the golf course the other day. He said this is just his favorite golf course ever. His new favorite golf course ever. His new favorite golf but course. But then he qualified at the second to Reynosa Country Club where he grew up. Just a mere three under par. Numbers we haven't seen in Live Golf quite some times. DJ launching a high fade off the tee at number 11. He will be able to get up easily off that one. It's a three putt for DJ there. This is the kind of course where you're not going to see a ton of three putts. There's some slope, but they're not big enough. No. And we've got nine holes to play. And Dustin Johnson is on the tier 30. So took the fairway wood there, trying to find the short stuff. That's nicely done. 13th, just 418 yards. A little stinger out of DJ. Kind of limit the spin on the second shot. That's exactly what he tried with that soft swing. Yeah. Oh. He's the one who needed it. Yeah. DJ, who said he whiffed this tee shot at 15, he whiffed it to there. Pretty, pretty good. Go with their ham here. Ham or their seafood. Great save by Dustin Johnson. DJ and I. Doubling up very nicely indeed. On the tee at 17. Doesn't particularly like moving the ball right to left, so he's going to play a cut here. Well, the part 5 17.
just after that, Jason Kokrak at the first. That got him to three and a pass, so there's a four-way tie now. Flying the... out of the tent, as you would expect here at Valderrama. Jason Kokrak on the par three sixth. Good shot. Jason Kokrak has climbed to the top of the pylon for the joint lead. Anyway, he is four under par. Beautifully judged put there for birdie. And Jason Kokrak shares the lead. Jason Kokrak on the tee at seven. Another tough hole to finish with. Two back and less Kokrak is able to do something here, make birdie. Oh, what a good shot. Jason Kokrak, this to end the day with the outright lead and not to be, but still incredible performance for a guy who's never struck a, a shot on this golf course prior to today. Jason Kokrak's luggage is apparently somewhere in Europe, but it's not here yet. Jason Kokrak, this was to tie for the lead for birdie at 12. 14 and Jason Kokrak. Couldn't get it online coming out of the fringe there. <laughs> 